Oh, hi there, racing fans, and welcome to the preview for the Vol Classic race meeting, 24th of October, Thursday, Pentrometer 20, 7 meter false rail, which will give everything a chance, although you always find the draw is tricky at the Vol, and um, one wonders where the best going is, whether it's up the inside or up the outside. But uh, the race will tell with a Pentrometer of 20. Uh, you've got to fancy horses that have got pace. Without pace, they're going to have problems. Let's start with race one. It's a maiden plate. Phillies and mares have got 1,200 metres. And a uh, very interesting race is uh, Vonica, the Varm filly of Robbie Sages, with Muzieni aboard, does look like the natural horse in the race. It looks like it's got everything in its favour. But the first time a Carino, been support for it, and watch for the follow-through and watch for the canter pass. The Azzy team, they know how to get them ready, and Kamala's in great form at the moment. And has got a beautiful pedigree out of the sprinting mare Stratos that uh, Mike Azzy trained himself. Orchard Express, I make this the third best, um, gets uh, Alamites um, for the first time, which might make a big difference. So have a close look at that. Zodiac Princess is third run after a rest. Uh, you need to include a few in the first leg of your bipod. Race two, maiden plate, three-year-old filly, 1,600 metres. And flower season, even money shot from the Azzy yard. Looks like she's cherry ripe to win. What else can uh, run close? Uh, Flaming Opal comes back from a break. Depends on her fitness. Super Duper ran a very much improved race last time. And Fluorescent might be the joker in the pack. Watch for some follow-through at 33 to 10 at the moment. Race three, first leg of the pick six. Well, I'm putting in a few horses here. Bienvenue, uh, I think, is a big runner here for the Paul Peter stable. Uh, jockey horse, 4 one, one, one. Uh, So Kamala's done well on this horse, should run well. Nordic Rebel got a lot in his favour on the Finchatton run and gets Callum Murray, which is a big up, and expected to run well. Rang Ragoon is third run after rest. Might have been a bit far for it last time. Gets Moosey, big plus. Full of attitude, big outsider gets a four kilogram claim and throng. Um, might be better over the fur further distance, but might come back fresh. Hidden agenda, always there or thereabouts. So put in a number of horses in the first leg. We're going to find some later on. Race four, merit rate at 72, fillies and mares, 1800 meters. And Hot Swings looks like the business to me. She ran a cracking race behind Alibi Guy at Gravel. Um, she's uh, had a run. Uh, it might be construed a second run after rest, but that was 17th of September, well drawn at three. What can beat her? Big Myth might get to the front and beat her. Lot Lamaki, always there or thereabouts as Philly, and then throws in a bad one. I wouldn't leave her out of your play, the bee's knees. And Animal Lovers, the best Philly in the race. She gets in the race, Dennis Schwartz gets the rider, so she is a player. Race five. Merit rated 84, fillies and mares 1,800 metres, and I make this an absolute three-cornered contest. I like Illuminate. I like the Blinkers um, edition. She's a big, long-striding filly. Used to be trained down here by Dennis Dreyer, and I've always thought that she had some ability and would be better with age. She's got to be a runner here. Little Wood, Lucky Lucas' runner with Callum Murray. Huge runner. Ran it, rode it last time. Got beaten by wordiness, and I think that this uh, run will be perfect. And Jive Express, very good form. The two and a half claimer with a draw three. A lot to like about Jive Express. I'll throw him into her into all my play. Race six, graduation plate, 1,000 meters. I can't look past uh, number four, NVIDIA. This horse got um, group uh, form, and if it's right, it will win. Uh, a lot to like about it. It's got a lot, lots of uh, pace. And um, on its two wins as a two-year-old, got the best form. No doubt about that. What else? I don't think you find anything else. I like True Charm. Last time she came home and won. She goes up to 56 and a half. That's not in her favor against a horse like NVIDIA. Race seven. Merry rated 68. Phillies and mares, 1,200 meters. And I like another one here. And this is a seven to two shot in full bloom. Uh, Sean Terry's runner, Raymond Danielson. I like the tongue tie edition, and I think she's the right filly in this race, and I'm going heads up with her. Race eight, uh, maiden handicap, 14.50. Well, when you get maiden handicaps and you get three year olds that have got to give other three year olds between eight and seven kilos, uh, you've got to be with horses at the bottom of the weights, and as a result, phantom rolls, although it's trickily drawn, 
might just be the right horse here. Um, Karari's Cowboy and Gentleman's Wager, they both look like they need more ground to me. Both of them run on. Uh, Karari's Cowboy gets the blinkers, which might be a plus, but he's drawn 15. Gentleman's Wager, if you watch his last run, he really needs the ground um, and uh, only got going really late. This 14.50 might be on the sharp side. So I'm going with Phantom Rolls as a big price horse. I think it's one of those races you put in a lot of horses because in order to get through this leg of the pick six, either um, take a chance and go with Phantom Rolls or go with a few of them. I hope you have a great day's racing at the Vol from me, James Goodman. Look forward to the weekend.